Okay, weekend time. I don't know what we were doing last. I'll go to the bakery, I guess. Why not? Can't go wrong with stuffing your face, after all. Uh, exercise. Uh, da -da -da, study. Mmm, hang out, because there's no club this week. Study. And hang out. Oh, that went pretty good. Library. Oh. Too quiet. So sad. One week left until my final exams and the end of the game and things like these. Um, a doop a doop a doop study. Had a mini heart attack, I thought I skipped club. But not to worry, we're not there yet, almost. Okay, let's double check. Things are good. Just that regular big smiley and hearts from this. That's good. Going out. I'm going out. Alright, A-level exams are this week. We can do this. Piece of cake. Well, these exams are pretty much going to define my future. Here goes nothing, I guess. I should do fantastic with this giant pencil. English, li English literature. Piece of cake. Even though I can't speak English. Except French. <laughs> English li 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 literature. Piece of cake. Next we have art on my netball day. Piece of cake. And finally, general studies. Piece of cake! I don't want to jinx it, but I'm pretty sure I just aced all of those. Not too shabby. Alright. Makeup. <sighs> One last time. Everything is a-okay. Okay. We're gonna do okay. Ugh. Taking walks just ain't what it used to be. Netball finals this week. Don't miss it, everyone. Don't miss it. Um. Alright, let's do this. Nothing but net. Who would have thought it, eh? Us in the finals! I know I only wanted to come here to perv on the schoolboys, but I think I might actually be getting excited. I know, I think we really, we're really in with a shot. It's pretty daunting. It's a shame they've held it a day of all days, though. It's really overcast. I just hope it doesn't rain. Eh, what harm did a little drizzle ever do anyone? And besides, a little wet t-shirt netball might make things more interesting for all the guys watching. Ah, <sighs> don't ever change, Merle. Oh, hey, Rosie, there you are. Huh? Oh, purr. S sorry, I'm not interrupting anything, am I? I uh, just wanted to wish you luck before the final. Oh, no, not at all. Sorry you had to run all the way down here. Uh, well, it's no trouble. We've just been practicing, so I've been running up and down the pitch anyway. Uh, hmm. Well, I'll uh, give you guys some privacy. Just don't be late for the match. I think we're starting soon. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Oh, Merle. Uh. Ahem. <clears throat> uh, sorry about those two. I've got no idea what they were going on about, honest. Uh, well. <laughs> uh, good luck. Not that I think you'll need it. I mean, you're definitely going to win. I wish I could be as confident as you are. But still, it's nice to have someone believe in us, so thanks. Uh, no problem. I'm gonna go and find a good seat. But, uh, break a leg, Rosie. I'll try my best, but I'm not making any promises. You jinxed me, Purr. You jinxed me. I literally did break my leg. Ugh, I don't know if Dis jinxed it before, but it's way beyond overcast now. How do they expect us to keep playing in these conditions? Rosie, catch! Ugh! Phew, thank god that was actually you. 
I could barely make you out in all this rain. Shouldn't they have stopped the match by now? I guess they just want to get the final over and done with today. Will you stop nattering and throw the ball already? I can only hold these guys off for so long. Uh, right. I think I should be able to make the basket from here. I'll just pivot this way and... Ah! Rosie! Um, what are you doing? Uh, I was trying to spin around and I slipped. I'll just... Ow, ow, ow! I knew we shouldn't have been playing in all this rain. Are you okay, Rosie? I wonder where the nurse is in this place. Can you stand? Uh, I don't think so. I must have twisted my ankle or something with all that spinning. I'm really sorry, guys. No need to apologize. I bet we could sue the school for millions. A posh place like this has got to have at least a couple thou to hand, right? Merle, let's just take her to the nurse's office, all right? What? No, we've come all this way, you guys. I feel terrible if we lost our shot at the trophy because of me. You lot keep playing, and I'll just sit on the sidelines or something. Uh, well, I don't know. Um, if your girls are quite finished, you do have a substitute, don't you? We'll have Miss Cheeks taken to the infirmary. There's no need to worry. Oh, uh, I guess that makes sense. We'll come up as soon as the match is over to see how you are, Rosie. Hm, bloody uppity riff. We'll see how chipper she is after we sue her ass. Oh, that's what I get for spinning about in the rain, I guess. This netball arc is dangerous. I remember that referee was a woman this time, at least. Brush your teeth. Five a day. Apples and fruits. Ah, apples and fruits. Yes, apples are separate from fruits. Apples and bananas. Huh. This nurse's office is miles better than the one at our school. This bed's pretty soft, too. I guess there are perks to spraining your ankle. <laughs> At least I'm not out there in the rain. <sighs> the match won't be over for a little while. I guess I'd better get some rest. I hope the others are okay out there. They're fine. Rosie? Wake up, Rosie! Um, uh, Rosie, you just sprained your ankle. God, anyone think you'd run a marathon or something? You want me to shake her? I'll totally shake her if you want me to. Uh, no, I'm up. Oh, I mean, wait, how'd you guys do? Did we win? But, well, you know, I mean, there's no point getting depressed about it. Yeah, I guess so. Though it is kind of a shame. Oh, wow. I'm so sorry, guys. Huh? Why? We totally won. Wait, what? <laughs> sorry, Rosie. We just couldn't resist. The look on your face. I take it you didn't notice our massive blinging trophy either. I don't think our school's trophy cabinet is even big enough for this bad boy. Sorry you didn't get to see the ceremony, Rosie. We didn't know where the nurse's office was and people were starting to leave. Not that it was much of a ceremony. They pretty much just lobbed the trophy at us and ran for their BMWs. Honestly, you'd think they'd never seen a little rain before. Wow, it's amazing. I just can't believe we actually won. And here I was feeling terrible that I'd gone and ruined our chances. Not bloody likely. Not as I'd love all of the credit, with me being your wonderful captain and all. If it weren't for you being so dedicated, we'd never have come this far, Rosie. You really are amazing. Aw, you guys. Okay, come on, we've got to get a picture of ourselves with this thing, you know, for posterity. And uh, to prove we actually want something. Say cheese. Hey, I'm barely even in it. I guess it is pretty hard to take a photo one-handed. Don't worry about it, I'll photoshop you in later, no problem. And maybe I'll shop a few tassels onto this thing while I'm at it. We want people to be impressed, right? Oh, we actually made it. It's hard to believe so many other teams were worse than us, really, but I'm not complaining. Hey, we're just that good. But sadly, we will never see Purr again. Until his route, one day. One day. Uh, I guess the big day is finally here. Today I officially leave school and go out into the big, wide world. I guess it's not much use getting teary over it now. I've got the Leaver's Ball to prepare for. I remember just saying that I need to wear a dress to this thing or they won't let me through the door. I do have a dress I could wear, but maybe I could squeeze in a last-minute trip to the Arndale just in case. 
Yeah, sure. Let's get a nicer dress than the sports one. Might as well, eh? I might even find something better than I already have. We'll go to Le Dauphine. Dress. We'll get this one. I'll try this one too. Just for variety's sake. In case I don't like it. Cute. Take off your hat, but bring your Game Boy. Because <laughs> it could be dull, and you might need it. And so, while we may leave North Main College with heavy hearts, we hope that we and our classmates will be able to look back on the time we spent here with pride. It is through the diligence of the teaching staff that we have been able to achieve so much, and we will always be thankful for the opportunities we have been given, no matter where they might lead us. And with that, we'd like to thank our friends and teachers for making this last year so special and declare this Leavers Ball officially begun. Woo! Wow. I wonder how much it costs the school to hire this place out. Though I guess they probably got a discount being practically next door and all. It's so weird seeing everyone looking so formal. I hope I'm not too underdressed. Huh. I've looked all over this place for Shupin, but I guess he isn't here. I wonder why he hasn't turned up. I mean, I guess this isn't really his sort of thing, but I thought he'd at least want to say goodbye to his friends. We're a terrible friend. We didn't even listen to him when he was talking about auditioning in Glasgow. Huh. <sighs> well, there's not much I can do, I guess. Still, it's a real shame. I thought I'd at least see him one more time before leaving this place. Oh, hey, Dis. That speech you guys gave was amazing. That must have taken you forever to write. Ah, uh, well, it did take a while. But it's all over now, I guess. It's hard to believe I'm not head girl anymore. That I'm not even a schoolgirl. It feels like it's all too soon. I know what you mean. It seems like I just started at North Main the other day, and here I am leaving already. Huh. Still, we had some good times, right? It's been so great hanging out together. You have to promise we'll keep in touch after we leave, okay? Sh sure of course. <laughs> Sorry, that was a little loud. I think maybe I've had a little too much. But thank you so much, Rosie. I don't think this year would have been anywhere near as bearable if it weren't for you. I'm really going to miss you, you know. I'll miss you too. Though obviously we'll be in contact all the time, so we won't really have time to miss one another, right? <laughs> yeah, that's a nice way of looking at it. Uh, anyway, I think I still have to go and make nice with the teachers. I'm not done being head girl yet, I guess. But maybe I'll see you later. Uh, yeah, sure thing. Hmm. I wonder what she had a little too much of. She did fall asleep the one time. <laughs> Merle's read, I think. Oh, this thing's going on forever. I can't believe we're only halfway through the night. Still, can't complain. I wonder where the others got to- Ah! Leave smile out there, love. I'm trying to have a dance here and know what I mean. What? 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 Please tell me that's not wine you've just spilled all down my dress. Are you calling me a filthy drunk, eh? Eh? I resent that. It's no crime to have a drink every now and again. But in the spirit of the season or whatever, I guess I'll forgive you. Just look where you're going next time, alright, love? I... Wha... What just happened? Wow, Rosie, what happened to you? I didn't think I'd have to tell you to lay off the booze. Are you okay? Your dress looks like it's seen better days. Uh, yeah, I'm fine. Excuse me while I go and hide in the toilets for the rest of the night. I'm going to look a right idiot waltzing around in this thing now. Hmm. Well, we were about to go to the toilets to freshen up anyway, Rosie. You might as well come with. I'm sure we can clean you up a little. I don't know. I think I'm kind of a lost cause. But I guess it beats standing around looking like a wino. Ugh, and tonight started off so well. This is a good sign, though. If we didn't get the Juliet dress, we're good. Huh. Well, I think it's safe to say that didn't work. I think I might have made it a little worse there, Rosie. Sorry about that. Ah, uh, it's okay, really. I don't think this stain's about to come out anytime soon. Thanks for trying, though. Rosie, I'm shocked. Giving up so easily. I'm pretty sure that's not how I raised you. I'm off to find some bleach. You ladies, sit tight. 
And uh, keep an eye on this, will you? She'll end up face down in the sink if you don't prop her up. Uh, okay. Dis, are you alright? Huh? Oh, Rosie. Where'd Merle go? I honestly have no idea. You look exhausted. Do you want me to take you home? I bet you were up all night preparing that speech. Oh no, I'm fine. Thank you, Rosie. To be honest, uh, I think I might be a little drunk. Eh? Don't tell me you've been at the wine, too. Heh, <laughs> well, just a little. I mean, I was really nervous about tonight, and then Merle said... Merle said I should maybe try a little, calm myself down, you know? But I've only really drunk Alka-Pops before, and they're, what, 4%? 4% of what I don't know. Do you know? I mean, wine is like 40... Come to think of it, you possibly sound a little drunk. But, uh, you were really that nervous about your speech? I mean, you did really well. There was no way you could have messed it up, really. Oh, well, it wasn't really the speech I was worried about. Shuvan isn't here tonight, is he? I... I wanted to talk to him. It's funny, really. I've spent all year trying to avoid him. And here I am at the very last second trying to find him. And he doesn't even have the decency to show up. I think Merle heard from Marius that he had an audition today, but of course he wouldn't have told me. Why would he? I guess I went and got drunk for nothing. Oh. What did you want to talk to him about that was so important anyway? If you don't mind me asking. Hmm? I don't mind. You're always there for me, you know that, Rosie? I'm sorry if I haven't shown it this year, but I really appreciate you. Huh? Uh, th thanks. I appreciate you too. I'm a little nervous though, because the music suddenly stopped. Mm -mm. I mean, I do love Merle, but with her I just feel... I just feel that I can't really tell her anything, you know? She doesn't do it on purpose, I understand, but... I just feel like nothing is private between me and her. Uh, I guess I can see what you mean. But I really wanted to talk to Shubin tonight. I wanted to know... I just wanted to know where we stand. I wanted... I don't know if he understands the way I feel, you know? I've never really told anyone. I thought maybe if I got a little drunk, it would all come out just like that. Heh. <laughs> just like it is now, I guess. Aw. Aw, girl. You look so sad. Dis, you look so sad. Wow. I don't think I've ever seen Dis like this. She's usually so reserved. I just wanted to let him know that now, I think I finally understand how he feels. About me, about our families. It took me a long time. Everything was just so different for me. My foster parents, they... They were always nice, you know? They were always kind to me, and when they had their own kids, they never treated me any differently. Or at least they tried not to. But when you're a child, I don't know. Every little thing impacts you differently. I'd get told off, and it'd be like, Oh, I understand. I'm not your real daughter. I know that my real mom and dad wouldn't treat me this way. And I know it was stupid. But I was only a kid, and I just had these dreams that one day my real parents would come back for me. That maybe they'd just lost me somehow, and that they'd be searching for me all along. And every time, it ended up being a new foster home, and a new set of brothers or sisters who I didn't think even wanted me there. And then one time, the last time, it was different. It was my mom's sister, my birth mother's sister, and she and my family had been searching for me for months, and I was going to get a real home, and be a real daughter, and... I just can't describe it, Rosie. I can still remember the first time they took me to the house, and the first time I saw my aunt, and how she had long black hair just like mine, and blue eyes just like mine, and she was so happy to see me, so genuinely happy. I was so... so happy, Rosie. Like, the only dream I'd ever had in life had come true. Just thinking back now, it's such a strange feeling, even after all these years. So when I found out about Shupin, and we went through the whole ordeal again from the other side, I didn't even think about it. It hadn't even crossed my mind that he wouldn't feel the way I felt that day, when I was nine years old. 
when my family came for me. I thought he'd look at me and my hair, my eyes, my face. I thought he'd look at me and think he'd finally found the home he must have been searching for all his life. But he didn't. And it took me so long to understand. To understand why he didn't want to spend much time with us. To even really talk to me. I mean, he was kind. He was always really nice to me, actually. But that wasn't what I wanted. I wanted my brother, my twin brother. And I thought that he'd come home and we'd be a real family. And that we'd all get together for the holidays and I'd look around and see a sea of faces I knew. And be surrounded by people who loved me. I'm just so... So selfish. Such a selfish idiot. And Chupin, he's so... He's so kind to be able to look past all that. All the things I thought were so important. Why should it matter if we had the same eyes, the same skin, the same hair? We're not related. We've never been related. And he loves his dad so much and he doesn't want to abandon him when I just abandoned my family, all of my families, at the drop of a hat like they were nothing. Because they weren't related to me, because we didn't look alike, because I decided, even before getting to know them, that I wasn't their real daughter and that they could never love me. I'm such an idiot. So, uh, long story short, I understand. I understand why he's so disgusted with me, why he doesn't want to see me or my family. And I, I won't bother him about it again. That's all I wanted to tell him. Dis, you're breaking my heart, girl. <laughs> I know, right? Wall of text, uh, words. Sorry for rambling on. But Dis, I really don't think Shupin could be disgusted with you. I mean, I know he isn't. You've both been through so much. And I think if you just told him what you told me, even over the phone. I just think maybe you let your life revolve around him a little too much. Maybe if you just gave each other a little space. <laughs> I wish it were that easy, Rosie. I... I don't think he'll ever know how much I love him. But I am taking your advice, I guess. By September, I'll be in another country, traveling the world I don't know. And maybe by the time my gap year is over, when he's been at uni a year and we've both cooled off a little, who knows? Huh. Thanks for listening, Rosie. It was kind of therapeutic getting it all out. Ah, oh, no problem. Uh, I want you to have this. It's nothing special, but... I mean, we might not see each other for a while after this summer and... Well... I'm being a little selfish again, but I thought it'd be nice if he had something to remember me by. Wow. Are you sure it's okay? This is gorgeous. I've never had a bracelet like this before. And, you know, obviously I'd never forget you anyway. <laughs> Thanks. But I bought it for you, so you'd be doing me a favor if you took it, really. I'll have to wear this out sometime. It really is beautiful. Well, I think I've talked through most of the party, but do you think you're ready to go back out there? I think all that crying might have sobered me up a bit. Huh, <laughs> sure. And we can pick up Merle on the way. God knows where she's got off to. Hmm. It's a pretty fitting end to the year, I think. Shall we, Rosie? Aw, that was so sad. She just wanted to love her brother so much. I relate to that. I love my, my little brother. I'd be so sad if he'd be like... Get out of my life. <laughs> Don't want you. Uh. And so my first and final year at North Main College came to an end. I'd say it was a pretty good year overall. My A-level results were pretty amazing and more than enough to get me into the uni I applied for. Result? I spent the summer after Upper Six hanging out with Dis. It was nice that she finally had time enough to enjoy herself. And she was pretty instrumental in taking Merle, in top, taking Merle out of some of her crazier schemes. She eventually left on her gap year and is currently traveling around Asia. I'll have to get out there at some point and visit her. The postcards and trinkets she keeps sending me are pretty amazing. I don't know if things will ever be okay between her and Chupin, but hopefully after spending this year cooling off, they'll be able to wipe the slate clean. Here's hoping. All in all, my time at North Main College isn't one I'll ever forget. Who knows what the future holds? It's a little exciting just thinking about it.
Aw. I wish there had been a, li a little more hope for her and Chopin. Like, they call each other like once a week or once a month, I don't know, and catch up. It's not much, but it's a start. I don't know, something like that. Oh. You too. I'm so sad. Well, I'm glad her family was looking for her and she feels like she belongs somewhere, even if her brother is a little hard to relate to at the moment, but hopefully they'll work it out. Ugh. Well, that was an unexpected field trip. Who knew? Who freaking knew? Anyway, I guess that's it for now, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Now that we are done this, we're going to go back to Hotful Boyfriend. And this time we're going to do Yuya's route, the mongrel's route, as Sakia would say. So if you're interested in seeing what that is, I hope I shall see you over there, guys. Thanks again for watching, and until next time, I'll see you later.